Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I have both of the dominoes and many of the accessories that go with the dominoes. In some upcoming videos, I'm actually going to be utilizing the domino, practicing with it, talking a little bit more about how it's used and how I like to use it. Previously, I've been building everything with pocket screws because it felt like my skill set was more on a pocket screw level. But as I'm starting to kind of progress, I feel like I'm not gonna get better at these tools unless I actually use them. So right over here to my right, I've got the Domino XL DF700. I also have the tenons for both. This is the DSXL D12 and D14, which has the larger tenons in it. And then I also have the XL D8 D10. Those come separately, so you actually have to buy two separate sustainers for those. I also have the TSO Bigfoot, which can be used on either domino. And then I have the Seneca Dami Plate, and that is for quick access for, I believe this one is for the 12 millimeter and 18 millimeter stock. Over here on my left, I have the Festool DF500. So in here, yes, I have my assortment of tenons, so I have that set. And then I believe all the tenons for this one comes in one set, whereas this one comes in two. So actually one of these here goes to the, the larger domino. And this one's for the larger domino. This is the connector kit for the domino. So I have that one for the XL. And then I also have the connector kit here for the smaller domino. As you can see, I have not used them as of yet. And then I have uh, the Seneca, I have the three quarter and half inch dummy plate, and then also the 12 millimeter to 18 millimeter dummy plate. These are exactly what's in here, but this one is built for the, the larger domino. The reason why I bought the domino is because a long time ago we were in the market for a dining room table, and I kind of did a little bit of research on building a dining room table because I thought the prices were exorbitant, and that's how I came across learning about the domino, learning about wood movement and so on and so forth. And when I watched videos, it just seemed like it was so easy to you know, utilize a tool like this. And um, when I looked at the price, I was kind of blown away, but it stayed in my mind. We ended up buying a table from Ikea. We did not go the route that I wanted to go, which was to actually build a table. However, it stayed on my mind and eventually I went ahead and pulled the trigger. I bought the DF500 first, then a while after, well, there's a longer story behind it that I may say in another video, but I bought the DF500 first and then I moved on and got the 700 as well because why not complete the set, right? You wanna have the ability to do everything that that ecosystem has to offer. Now, one of the reasons why I bought the connect kit, I was actually looking at the Lamello Climax, or that system where you could actually, you have knockdown fittings because since I'm in the learning stage, I wanted to be able to put something together and take it apart again if I fail and try again. And I thought that the domino connector set was like that, but as I've done a little bit more research, I've come to realize that once you put the domino connector set into a piece of wood, you can't just take it back out and use it elsewhere. Whereas if you look at the Lamello Climax, it has the ability to actually, um, you can kind of slide it after it drills the, the actual mortise. Um, you can slide the, the components in and you can actually slide them out and they actually tighten with like an Allen key. So that was pretty interesting to me. And then also you have the Maffel dual dowler, which obviously the fittings and fasteners for that are gonna be substantially cheaper than either the Festool or the Lamello because it's just using simple dowels that you could even make yourself. Anyways, um, getting back to this, the one thing that I realized once I got the domino is that you need a lot of clamps. And the reason why you need a lot of clamps is because you want to be able, you know, with dominoes, you're primarily gluing things up. When you use the pocket screws, you're just actually screwing the work together and you're done. You could use glue if you want to, but with the domino system, unless you're using the, the connectors, you actually have to clamp your wood up and, and bind it together. But anyways, guys, this is what I'm going to be going over soon in the shop. Thanks, guys, for taking time to watch the video, and I'll see you in my next one.